Hello. Once again, we're going to be discussing compound inequalities, only this time we're going to be working with strict inequalities, and we're going to have to reverse an inequality sign, as you'll see. The first inequality is negative 3x is greater than negative 15. And, there's the object and, which means we're going to be taking the overlap of the two inequalities. The second inequality is x plus 8 is greater than 0. Is it okay to have a 0 there? Yes, it is. Now, back on the first inequality to get x by itself, we divide both sides by negative 3. This forces us to reverse the inequality sign. The, the solution will be x is less than 5. With the second inequality, we subtract 8 from both sides, but subtracting does not force us to change the direction of the inequality sign. So we'll have x is greater than negative 8. Now we construct the number, so the number line with positive infinity at the right, negative infinity at the left, 0 in the middle, the positive numbers on the right, the negative numbers on the left. It's a good idea to draw your scale. Notice that on the left, we're going to have to go all the way to negative 8. On the right, we only need to go to 5. Now, graphing the first inequality, we put a parenthesis through 5, and we draw an arrow going off to the left. For the second inequality, we draw a parenthesis through negative 8 and an arrow going off to the right. The solution set is the overlap of the two arrows. That's because we're using the word AND. So x can be any number strictly between negative 8 and positive 5. The interval notation looks like the graph. Graph, parenthesis on the left, negative 8, comma 5, parenthesis on the right. Strict inequalities always take parentheses. Dividing by a negative number or multiplying by a negative number forces you to turn the inequality sign around. 